Okay, so almost everyone at camp is gone. I found a latch underneath my bed, and I opened it up and there was an underground tunnel, so I decided to follow it. I came into this room, it's like, I don't know, some storage, some tech storage room. They just have computers here and all this stuff. Just watch. I'm not really sure what all of this stuff is. It looks like it's just wiring and stuff. But, um... I really don't think I'm supposed to be down here. Uh, all these wires, I just, I don't know. Um, I see a light at the end of the hall. I'm going to try to get in, and I'm going to see what um, what's down there. But uh, this doesn't look like camp stuff to me, for some reason or the other. Okay, I'm going to try to go sneak down that hall, pick the lock to that door, and see if I can get in that room. Okay, campers, so I've managed to sneak into the room. This is insane. Uh, I think I think there's a lot more than I expected. There's all these wires and, and stuff. They look like they're machines. I see all the cables that he was talking about earlier. Alan kept talking about fibers and fibers to her, and look at all of this. I don't know, I think... It's crazy. Wait a second. Wait, that looks like my IP address to my computer. What is this machine? Hold on, hold on. I think someone's... I think someone's coming. Hold on. Okay, I got out. I... I don't know who I just saw. I think it was Alan or something, but... This is gonna sound crazy, but those machines... Those machines are linked to our IP addresses. I think... I think what's going on is that all of these machines are linked up to our computers, and these machines are... are taking all our creativity and using it to fuel something. It's not, I can I heard like water when I was in there as if like I think I was under the lake, but um, yeah, just looking around here, this doesn't look like anything like camp. Um, I have all these these wirings and tubings and these boxes. It looks like they're packing up, but this this is not a regular camp. This looks like it's pretty high tech stuff. Um. Well, that's it. I've come to my conclusion. You probably won't hear back from me again, campers, but this is for any future campers. Keep away from Camp Magic MacGuffin. They're sucking our creativity and using it to fuel something for the government, some kind of spaceship or something. But we're just not here just to, you know, to stand by the fire and chit-chat. I finally come to the bottom of this, but I'm, I'm kind of nervous, I feel like. I feel like this is going to be it. They're not going to let me go after this. I noticed that Martha has been going down to the shed now for always. Like, she literally lives there. Last time I heard that she's been sleeping in front of the shed. I think she's been, like, brain drained or something. I'm, I'm not sure, but it's not the Martha that I met earlier on during camp. Um, yeah, I... I don't know. Things have just been off. Hatchet Jack is gone. Zazzy came back, but she's acting super weird. I feel like they might have abducted her, too. Just, all of these campers have just gone completely missing. I, I don't know what's going on, but... I think... I think, uh... It's, I've gotten myself into something more than I can handle. But, uh, hopefully this goes out to all the other campers. And, uh, maybe... Maybe future campers can uh, avoid all of this. And I just thought, you know, all this creative common stuff was was for, you know, the greater good of knowledge. And but boy, was I wrong. Oh crap! Oh, crap!